a magnet around a homing pigeon's neck and it might never get home. Why? Whales also end up in the wrong place sometimes. But what's this rubber whale got to do with rescuing them? There are animals that navigate over continents and over entire oceans, while others navigate their way through different animals. Yes, today we take a look at nature's navigators. And we, of course, are among them. We often think of ourselves as the ultimate navigators. But are we? With our increasingly sophisticated and accurate navigational tools, we do a pretty good job of finding our way around. We've conquered the land and the seas. The skies and the stars. But take these tools away, and we're left at the mercy of our senses. It's here that the natural world puts us to shame. The dunes of the Sahara Desert are searingly hot and ever-changing, making it one of the harshest and most confusing environments on Earth. Getting lost here has fatal results. Yet tiny cataglyphous ants are masters of this disorientating world. They nest underground, but need to go out and forage for food. The sand is scorching, and even these expert desert dwellers take the occasional respite. One thing's for sure, getting lost would mean certain death. So while searching for food, they stop every few meters and take a bearing on the sun. With prey in hand, they check the sun's position one last time, do a swift calculation, and take the shortest route home. The computations they make are incredible, equivalent to a human being finding his way for 20 or 30 kilometers with just an occasional glance at the sun. Birds also use solar navigation, and homing pigeons are among the very best. Home might be hundreds of kilometers away, they might never have previously visited their release site, but they unerringly find their way. Even when it's overcast, pigeons don't get lost. They orientate themselves using the Earth's magnetic force lines. The angle the lines make with the pigeon's body provides it with a compass direction. Clouds obscure the sun, and sunspot activity can distort the Earth's magnetism but the pigeons still don't get lost. Even we can detect the salty tang of the sea, but to a homing pigeon, the land has equally distinctive smells. And the most well-known smell of all is that of their own roosts. As the pigeons near home, smell takes over completely, and they're led by the nose on the last lap home. Down in the featureless seas and oceans of the world, knowing exactly where you're going needs methods that are just as accurate. There are not many signposts underwater, so dolphins, like pigeons, also use magnetism, but in a different way. They're thought to sense variations in the strength of the Earth's magnetic field. These create a virtual map with its own hills and valleys. The dolphins then use this map to find their way around. The natural world has some ingenious solutions to navigation, but urbanized humans seem to have lost these skills Ever had trouble finding your car in a multi-storey car park? We increasingly rely on technology, like satellite positioning systems. But it would seem that we do have natural navigational abilities. Modern experiments suggest 
There are areas in our brains which can also detect magnetism, just like pigeons and dolphins.